Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is the first time that you are coming across my channel, I just want to greet you by saying, hey there, hi there, and hello there. You're more than welcome to come on in, have a seat, like, share, subscribe, unsubscribe, comment, not comment, whatever you feel that your intuitive side, hopefully by way of your high frequency, is guiding you here to do. I absolutely do support you in that energy. Nevertheless, nine times out of 10, spirit guided you here for a particular reason. It could be the fact that maybe you just came by to see my shuffle game and see if I am that one that they talk about that has the best shuffle of all the shufflers. <laughs> ah! Or maybe you heard about all of these random as spiritual commercial breaks. Listen, whatever your reason, whatever it is, whatever you've heard or wh whatever you feel, whatever you haven't heard, and maybe you're just coming here for confirmation, I support the energy. Nevertheless, if you're returning back to the channel, baby, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that you are my beautiful divine soul tribe. So try so try la 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 so tribe ooh so tribe okay that was very over the top a little bit dramatic but I thank you for coming back to visit with me. It's only been one or two videos ago that we've been here. And let me tell you something, Soul Tribe. I love y'all so much. Like the love I have for genuine people who are really doing the spiritual work makes me happy. You inspire me to keep on giving y'all the good spiritual work, this good spiritual guidance you know what i mean because y'all help me too right it's a lot of us that really sit in an energy of equal admiration it's mutual isn't it i love it it's beautiful it's the family that i've always prayed for and here you are and here i am and i love you listen let me go ahead and dive into the energy okay i know the love readings have been real intense lately it's not that I'm like, oh my God, I'm just going to do love readings. It's like lately, oh my God. Judgment is really bringing about, excuse me, some type of liberation by way of balancing out the heart chakra, okay? It is the complicated chambers of the heart by way of what people conceive and or believe love to be. Like, listen, there's somebody somewhere right now being mistreated and that is their form, unfortunately, of what they believe love is. And there's somebody getting treated really, really nicely by way of what they think love is because it's an idea. And a lot of people are coming to the understanding of that. Nevertheless, this is your reading. Let's go ahead and just dive into the energy and see what spirit has for us. Show me what it is I need to see, Holy Spirit, Divine Ancestors, please and thank you by way of this energy that I keep picking up. Somebody is like thinking, thinking, thinking. Yeah, King of Cups. Somebody's deep in love. Meanwhile, they're trying to act as if they're cold, okay? Or you could be just being cold towards them. Take what resonates. A masculine can absolutely be the Queen of Swords by way of feminine energy, by way of being standoffish. By way of just feeling like, nah, I'm good. It's a I'm good type of an energy. Somebody is deeply in their emotions, almost to the point where I don't know if they can control their feelings. Yeah, Six of Cups. This is absolutely somebody from your past. All right. Well, you know what? Look, this person is obsessed. The devil's here. Page of Pentacles. They want to come in with an offer. I hate to sound like I am bored with this energy but in a lot of ways it's just like look either you're gonna come with the come through you're gonna do what it is you need to do to grab your life by the spiritual balls or you're not right to sit back in this energy hoping wishing waiting or wanting somebody to come and find you to pick you up and say oh my god i found you can you tell me that you love me 
is very like, uh, no, it's a hell to the no for the divine feminine and or divine masculine. It's like, get your ass up and go tell this person how you feel. But I also feel like they don't feel comfortable. Somebody's afraid of rejection. Because with that queen of swords, it's letting me know that you're in this, I wish a mother would. Yeah, your intuition is telling you that, no, I'm good. Okay, somebody took way too long to come in offer their heart, offer their feelings all at the same time. They want to come back together with you by way of reconciliation, but they still want to withhold their emotions. Yeah. Two of Pentacles. Somebody is going back and forth. Somebody can also have a choice between two. Okay. Two, three major arcanas here. Yeah. Ten of Wands. Somebody is way down. Somebody's way down. Ooh, this is giving me somebody could be trapped by a karmic. Mm -hmm. Six of swords. Somebody's really in their head trying to get calm and balanced and trying to figure out how to get out of another situation so that they can come in and get into a new situation. Can we just have a new commercial break? A new commercial break. Listen, what the hell is this? What what the what the what the what the er, er, what the what the what the hell is this? What the what the what the what the hell is this? <laughs> almost I almost just spit some bars. Like I was this close, y'all was this motherfucking close. Listen, what is this? Somebody's weighed down. This is like self-imposed. I'm stressed. Oh, look at me. I don't know which way to go. Like, look. Get your ass up. This is how I feel. Yeah, you're under judgment. Somebody's stuck in some type of weird ass cycle, y'all. Okay? You got judgment on that ass. Not only that, they're weighing out their emotions by way of their thoughts. I just heard head over heart, logic over emotions. But something is not rationalizing by way of their emotions. This is a feeling that somebody can't comprehend is what I'm getting. This emotion of how they feel about you is really um, not mathing for them. This is a feeling they've never felt. Somebody's like, look, what is this feeling? Like, you mean that nauseousness in your stomach, the headaches? That's you going against the grain not being with somebody that you truly love and you're afraid that you're going to get rejected. Okay, I could go a little bit deeper, but why would I? It's only a commercial break. Listen, let's get back to the reading. Ace of Pentacles, New Beginning, Six of Swords. Somebody wants to come to some type of reconciliation and sail to calmer waters, but they're nervous. Like their nerves are off the charts. The death is here. Scorpionic energy, something about a transformation and a rebirth. Somebody wants to be better. Okay, seven of swords are being very sneaky and deceptive. Why is that seven of swords here, spirit? Five of swords because they're fighting with somebody. They're fighting with themselves and fighting with whomever the hell they're trying to get away from. Somebody could be fighting them to try to stop them from getting away from them. Listen, another commercial break. I know we had several already impromptu commercial breaks, but listen, don't you ever, 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 Try to hold on to somebody that does not want to be with you. This is violent. This is somebody that, you know, you got somebody that's like, oh, I'm going to leave. And somebody jumps in front of the door or grabs somebody's keys. Like, if you don't let go and let flow, like, what is this? Let this go. Somebody's trying to force somebody by way of strong arming them, by way of violence to stay with them. Like, you're going to stay with me. You're going to love me. Like, huh? Where they do that at? Like, how deep do we got to be in this that I lost the rights to my body, my limbs, my mind, my decision? Like, when did I lose my right to be the hell away from some toxicity like this? And then what is this doing for me at this point except leading me to death? And I mean that figuratively and literally by way of a transformation. You can't help but get transformed when you're consumed with this toxicity and this energy you have to be transformed because I just feel this person is saying like, this can't continue to go on. Like, I can't live like this. Oh, you think? Was it fight number one, two, three, four, five, or when it got violent? The police could be called. Something about Friday the 13th? Listen, it's going to be wicked, wicked, wicked. This judgment on Friday the 13th for all you superstitious people, 
you know, whatever that means, okay? One plus three is four. Four represents completion, finite energy, you know, the grand finale. It could get a little ugly for some people, again, that are not willing to let other people go. Let these people go. Yeah, seven of swords. Somebody's trying to sneak away. Somebody's planning an escape, y'all. Somebody's like, I got three more paychecks and I'm about to drop her ass. I'm keeping this trash bag with me in case I got to drop this trash off on the side of the road. Okay, sometimes, you know, I'm going to be honest, not sometimes, all the time. I go too far. It's just the way that my mind works by the way of my gift and foresight. Like, what is this? Somebody's trying to plan an escape. Show me what I need to see. It's like this person is crying out for help. It's like, hell no, I'm not coming to help you. You got yourself in this mess. So get yourself out. That's the bed you made. So lie in it. The sun is here. Things are being illuminated. Okay. Something about this situation. Um, It's like redundant for this person. It's on repeat. This person keeps choosing toxic people. Again, this could be masculine and or feminine energy. I'm picking up a combination of the two. Okay. Somebody is understanding now by way of this transformation that they keep choosing the same partner. It's like, why do I keep choosing these toxic ass people? This has to do with childhood trauma. There's a lot of uh, relationships that unfortunately start with trauma bonding. It's like, oh, your dad was an alcoholic too. Oh, my dad was an alcoholic too. And then y'all bond by way of trauma. But when you remove all the trauma and one of you decides to ascend by way of your death transformation and your resurrection, you know, you really don't have anything in common with this person. This is the kind of person that you confide in, what you've gone through. And then in the, the middle of an argument by way of five of swords, they throw it up in your face. You know, it's like, that's why you don't know that if that's really your dad. Like, damn, you gonna hit me like that? After pillow talk? After I trauma bonded with you? <laughs> I laugh at my shadows, okay? Because I finally made it through. I'm like, whew, I'm so glad that none of that bothers me anymore. And even when I go into new relationships, friendships, very rarely do I speak about my past to the extent that I'm like, oh yeah, my mom. Look, we know the story. That's what the dark night of the soul is. You have to make it through those levels in order to be set free. It's called being delivered. Okay. Yeah. From whatever you thought had you bound at a time that maybe you were a dependent, you were a child, you were dealing with adults who were once children. And so moving right along, moving forward, now you want to be a husband and now you want to be a wife and every single last one of your traumas is coming out in your family life and what you thought a family was supposed to be. I only speak from experience, but I got to keep it a buck. I got to keep it 100. Listen, I'm trying to tell you the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The Hierophant is here. This could be a marriage. What? Why is that Hierophant here? That's giving me witchy vibes a little bit. Why is that Hierophant here? The King of Pentacles? Yeah, this is a marriage. This is a husband and a wife. Somebody wants to apologize. Were you married to this person? There's a masculine that wants to apologize to a feminine. Queen of Cups, yeah. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, wants to apologize to a Scorpio, Pisces, and or a Cancer. Now, you could have these signs anywhere highly aspected in your chart. If all of the facts of the story resonate with you, then just go with the flow, okay? Don't get caught up in the Zodiac. Because again, I I keep saying this, once you reach a certain level of ascension, you're all the signs in the Zodiac. I guarantee you, if you're a Virgo and you flip on a Taurus video, you're going to be able to resonate with something in that Taurus video because that's what self-mastery looks like. It's for you to master all of the elements by way of going within and also mastering the elements on the outside of you because the inside of you is in order. So everything outside of you has to get in order. That is divine order. Like people approach you, they don't know why they have to respect you, but they do. Why? Because you've sat with your higher self. You've gone through your shadows. You know your fears. You've conquered your fears. You've gone within. You're walking in the truth. So you get somebody that walks up to you and wants to lie. They're going to feel a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> I mean, because you just too much in you. Know, okay. You see where I'm going. 
Nevertheless, page of cups, somebody wants to apologize, but I don't think they can get through. Somebody's being real cold by way of this queen of swords. We'll get more into that. King of pentacles, somebody could be preparing their stability. I told you, I heard that in the beginning, like I got three to four more paychecks and I'm out. Somebody could get paid weekly, <laughs> bi-weekly, it don't matter. Somebody has changed their direct deposit so that the check goes somewhere that this person does not know where the money is at. Somebody is really planning an escape. Even if they can't make it back to you, this person is saying, look, even if I can't go back home to my true person, I'm getting the hell up out of here. Okay, listen, Queen of Cups, whoever you are, you're intuitive, you're psychic, you're all knowing, you know this. The major arcanas though, like, listen, let's just have a little commercial break. I got to scratch my head on this one. The High Priestess, the Queen of Swords, the Judgment, the Hierophant, Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles. The sun, death, transformation, and the king of cups. This is a divine union, king of cups and queen of cups. Somebody is saying, you are my person. Spirit is saying to reconsider. Oh, well, okay. Well, that's a big deal for a high priestess to reconsider or and or renegotiate by way of reconciliation. Like, let's have a commercial break. Like, what the hell we got to talk about again? Because anything that guided you away from me, by way of us being together and now you realize that this is what you want. Again, this could be a, um, a feminine wanting a masculine back too now. Okay. And vice versa. Or as they say in the hood, vice versa. <laughs> ah! Okay. Listen, 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 listen. Blame it on the pre, you know, Friday the 13th energy. I don't know what it is, but something's really aligning up with my spirit by way of this shit being hilarious, okay? Because I just heard to go back would be death. Damn, y'all. Is this how y'all feel about these situations? Somebody has ascended to their highest good and they're like, yeah. Ooh, my ear is ringing. Confirmation. Somebody's trying to open up a door on you. Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. Somebody is saying this is divinely orchestrated. What I'm getting though, y'all, just aside from the commercial breaks and just as a sidebar, um, I feel like spirit is saying that looking at this situation with new eyes, okay, you're going to see something different each time you assess this circumstance, even if you don't feel that this is something worth your attention worth your thoughts, worth your mind, worth your energy, whatever this is, there's something else that needs to be reassessed and or seen a different way. I'm hearing seeing through the eyes of the creator, okay? Seeing with the eyes of love, all right? Understanding, forgiveness, and love. Now, that does not mean, oh, we're going back together. We're back together. No, there's something that needs to be seen here by way of assisting you in this death process, transformation and a rebirth that maybe you could have missed and something else that you need that's going to help you by way of being a better person, by way of understanding fully what that experience was about, by way of understanding the meat that you need to take from it emotionally, spiritually, mentally, okay? And leaving the bones. Again, somebody could misunderstand the fact that you give them the opportunity to have a conversation with you. You're like, yeah, this is not me that I want to be back with you. Nine of Wands is guarded. It's almost like that Queen of Swords is telling me like, you're like, up, oh, speak your peace. <laughs> Somebody's like, but, you know, it's like when somebody sees you right away and they just want to come hug you. And you're like, oh, wait, I'm not who I used to be. You can't just go touching me no more because lay hands suddenly on nobody. I don't know what spirit you got on you and what you could be trying to transfer. I can't just let you touch up on me. So this person is kind of like, let's just get back to where we were. And it's like, no, hold up. However, I am willing to hear you out. Spirit is encouraging you to hear this person out, be it by way of the ethers, be it by way of having a real conversation in the physical realm. Um, something warrants you to reassess and or hear what spirit is telling you about this circumstance, okay? But this person is getting away from somebody. Could be family members, friends, a karmic. I mean, it's a lot going on here. Nine of Wands, you're very, very guarded. You're wise to protect your energy. Yeah, Four of Swords, whoever this person is, they're constantly thinking, 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 overthinking. Whoever this is, this person has headaches. They could have high blood pressure. 
you know, the metaphysical reason for blood pressure, high blood pressure is anger, pent up emotions. So maybe you're not responding as quickly as they thought and you intuitively can feel that. The four of swords is them overthinking. Okay, yeah, four of wands. This is absolutely a soulmate energy. Damn. Damn. What's up with the judgment in these love readings recently? I'm like, wow. I mean, I was going to do the Zodiac readings, but right now, I just feel like spirit is telling me to stay in this judgment energy. And these relationships are under judgment. There's still some forgiveness that needs to be given here. Okay. Somebody knows that if you're not responding to them immediately, that that is a form of emotion. That is a form of you giving a damn is how they see it. Because they're like, why can't you talk to me? If you don't care about me, why can't you talk to me? You're like, because I don't care. Right? Like what I cared about, I no longer care about anymore is what I'm getting. It's not really that cold, but they could see you as being very, very cold. Um, somebody thinks that you're just being calculated, like, like you just doing it to hurt them. It's like, oh, it's my turn now. It's over. It's my turn now. Like, yeah, no, listen. <laughs> I'm on the magic school bus. Listen, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to tell you like this. After this commercial break, justice is always going to show up because she's fair. This is the liberation. This is about freedom. Yeah, somebody's saying freedom, freedom. I can't move over here. Show me this person that's trying to hold this person back. Four of Pentacles, yeah. You, they, they feel like you're purposefully holding back your energy just to keep them off balance. And this is the thing. You're like, you're really poised, High Priestess. You're like, mm, you think I'm holding back my feelings for you because you think that this is what I need to do in order to make you feel what it is that you've done. It's all in your mind. The High Priestess is very poised. You're really allowing this person to sink their own battleship. You're saying, why is it that you continue to feel, you know, by way of these delusions of grandeur that everything's about you? Somebody's feeling very victimized, okay, by the situation. They're like, you know, I want to talk to you. You know, I need you. You know, I this, I that. And you're like, no, I don't know. But it's only because I really don't care to know anymore, Right. So what is this conversation really about? I'm following my instincts and allowing us to open up the lines of communication by where that Gemini energy, that Mercury energy. But you're not saying anything. I feel as though you're too preoccupied with the way that I'm showing up. And if my status and or my stature and how I am now after this transformation bother you, then you still have the same issues that I left you with by way of the Eight of Cups. I cannot make it up. The Empress is not compromising her situation, her position, her rank, his rank, because absolutely a masculine can embody this Empress energy. Very poised, very caring, very intuitive, very knowing, very wise, that sword is using wisdom. It's saying, listen, I use this sword of truth wisely. I pick and choose my battles, but I will cut you if I need to, because that is wise. By way of the nine of wands protecting my energy, I'm going to need you to give me 50 feet. Like by way of lifetimes though. <laughs> and the sun is estimated to be about 91 million miles away. That could be too much for somebody, but that's okay. It's not too much for you, Divine Collective. Listen, Six of Pentacles, okay? Somebody wants to come in and show you that they have equal give and take in their system. Like they have the ability to, to, to equally give to you and or take. Seven of Pentacles, listen, they can't stop thinking about the past. Somebody's stuck in a, in a time zone, okay? Like really, really, somebody's really keep like over and over and over. And you're like, I'm gonna need you to come forward. You know, they're remembering how you were together like it was yesterday. And you're like, no, that was five years ago. Mentally, clearly, you've not moved on, but they feel like you're being cold. Even when I channel the energy, yeah, they want to be friends. They're working really hard. Oh, that's so nice. They're working really hard. That's good. But what is your motivation? Is your motivation to be a better version of yourself, you know, than you were? Are you working hard um, at who you need to be for somebody else? Because that'll never work. 
that'll always be some form of temporary satisfaction when it comes to your soul. So I hope this person, wherever they are, are working uh, on themselves because they want to be a better version for themselves first and foremost. This is giving me loneliness versus being alone because even though this person knows that they could possibly have missed an opportunity with you, they still know for a fact that they need to get rid of this crazy ass that keeps trying to stop them. This person is getting violent when they want to leave. They're like, I know you're going back to that person, like that type of an energy, not a cups. This person wants to start out slow and at least be friends. Somebody misses your friendship. Somebody's saying, I need you. Damn, damn. Why do I got to channel all the energy? Okay, give me just a real commercial break, y'all. Holy Spirit, Divine Ancestors, thank you, Gaia, for keeping me grounded as I channel this sad-ass, defeated, karmic-ass energy. Please bless the heart of whoever this is. Ascended Masters, please put a circle of protection around this person's soul because somebody is like, I cannot see my future without you. Somebody is imagining you at every step of the way. Okay, somebody could be very successful now. They're like, I can't imagine not sharing this with this person. Jesus, they're working real hard, toil and labor. They working real hard to get them three paychecks under their belt so they can get away from him, shim, them, and they over there. The karmic ass family. I'm telling you, somebody is planning an escape. Knight of Swords, yep. This person's moving forward. Three of Pentacles. Why is the three of pentacles there? I feel like this third wheel is like trying to stop this person. And they like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, three of cups. They feel like this person is like in the way. And this is the thing. There's no guarantee that you, whoever you are, divine being, divine masculine, divine feminine, are going to entertain this person at all. So the fact that they are so like in this wishful thinking energy, but also at the same time, reality has set in that they could have missed an opportunity with you. They might not get a second chance to even be your friend. It's like they're saying and they're rationalizing. Well, I guess if it's not this person, I have to be alone. Well, yeah, you should. Maybe that's what's, what it's going to take for you to go within so you don't have to go without. Not a source. This person is moving forward. There's a courage. This is a this is a bombarding energy. You know, it's somebody that's like saying, get out my way like that. That's what I feel with that five of swords. Somebody's like, you're not going nowhere. You're going to stay here. You know, I'm getting like a karmic female. I'm getting a karmic masculine that's somewhere trying to hold on to some divine feminine that's saying I need a second chance with my masculine. Ooh, we too much. Oh, my God. I'm so glad that's not me, my friend. I'm so glad that's not me. I'm serious, y'all. Mm, I got to get a little bit of spring water on that one. Shout out to Dr. Sebi. Rest in peace. Listen, <laughs> for explaining to us just how vital spring water is, it absolutely does have a certain taste. But listen, baby, three of pentacles. Somebody feels as though somebody's in the way. This is a third wheel. Somebody is saying, I don't care what I have to do. If I have to share you with other people, this is what I feel then I'm going to share you. I just want to be your friend. And I'm not getting in a freaky little weird ass, you know, uh, menage a trois type of an energy. I'm not. But it is definitely a certain form of a je ne sais quoi because you are worth waiting for. Whoever you are, divine masculine, divine feminine, three of cups. But this third party is trying to say, I, this third party is saying the same thing to them. This third party could be threatening them by way of saying, you know, I'm going to take my life or something real low vibrational to stop this person from coming towards you. They're playing on this person's sympathy. Whereas this person is saying, I know that your life has moved on without me. I know that high priestess, queen of swords, judgment is here. I know your ancestors are backing me up. I know the queen of cups. I know you intuitively feel me. However, whatever your life is right now, I am willing to share you with your life and you're like I don't need permission to to do what it is I need to do in life I don't need your permission to share me right you're giving me permission or you're just letting me know this person's like I just want to be your friend this person went from being the main person to being somebody that is now a possible option 
and or somebody that may not even have any options at this point, at least not when it comes to you, whoever you are. Yeah, I cannot make it up. Eight of Cups is that spiritual twerk down the yellow brick road. When that Eight of Cups shows up, I'm like, ease on down the road. Because you don't care about nothing. My air is ringing, spirit. Somebody somewhere is trying to get a message through. Let's just see what they're trying to say. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Somebody said, please don't go. Yeah, somebody wants a new beginning. Somebody's watching you move forward. Yeah, it's a tower. This person's nerves are shot, y'all. They can't handle the truth. Something seemed a lot easier when they planned it in their minds, but now that they're wanting to do this in the 3D by way of making it real and or approaching you, or maybe they sent you a message and you didn't respond or whatever, it's like, mm-mm, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, new beginning. New start. Somebody's watching you. Listen, they know that you could go back or you could go forward. And I really feel like all bullshit aside, y'all. Mm, you've sailed to common waters, baby. You've healed. Somebody's grieving. Three of wands. That is the truth. Ace of swords. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. In all honesty and all truth, I really feel as though this person knows that you have given them every reason to move forward. This is where this anxiety is coming from. My ears are ringing to the dick and sunny. When I'm in the ethers by way of being connected, y'all, my ears are ringing, jingle bells, jingle bells. Somebody is catching hell, okay? And I hate to sound so facetious, but I just feel like, what else am I supposed to say but the truth? Yeah, they want a victory. And you know what? Seven of Wands, your ancestors are backing them up. Somebody could be trying to telepathically communicate with you. Yeah, to tell you that they're sorry about being immature, codependent, toxic, karmic. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Mm, I know one thing. Oddly, my shuffling gives me some type of peace. <laughs> it's so calming and relaxing. <laughs> I just thought this was a random actual fact. 3222, just as I said that, this is a twin flame journey, y'all. This is a random fact, though, about the shuffling. You know, I think I'm going to start a group called the Shuffle Gang Gang Gang. There has to be three gang gangs in the, in the title. Shuffle Gang Gang. Gang, gang, gang. Yeah, gang, gang, gang. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs> Shuffle. Uh, 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 uh. Gang, gang, gang. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Nappy. Five of Cubs. This person is depressed. Your ancestors don't give a damn. They like. Cry me a river. Oh, cry me a river. Your ancestors don't give a damn. What did this person do to put you in this Queen of Swords energy? The backstory's not even coming up here. Oh my God, you're the Empress. <laughs> Your ancestors are like, I think not. Do you know how much we had to go through to guide this divine being, this chosen child, golden child, through the turmoil by way of breaking curses in our lineage? Your ancestors are like, eh, eh. <laughs> This person is crying at the door, child. Why is this here? The backstory is not even here. That's how I know it has to be bad. What did they do? Yeah, they just apologize. They just want to apologize. Page of Cups is a crying ass apology. Yeah. Somebody could be looking at their phone to see if you're going to call or text them. You like, mm-mm. Why would I do that? You've given me enough. If you give a divine being enough by way of proving who you are and who you are not and who you possibly will never be, for them to be in the eight of pentacles, toil and labor, moving forward about their father's work and eight of cups energy, then that means that you had to have done a, enough and a lot. Okay, because queen of swords is like, mm -mm. it's not making sense. You're like rationally... 
it's not it's not making sense for me queen of wands show me the story aries leo sagittarius somebody's just oh lord oh lord who is this damn these old cry baby ass fire signs listen Shout out to my high vibrational fire signs. I love y'all, okay? But somebody is out here and they're not in their high vibrational fire sign energy. Somebody is sad as shit. All the while, you know it intuitively. And you're saying, this is what it is. So mode it be. You have to go through these cycles in order to understand who you are. But please know that even if I was the catalyst to thrust you into this awakening by way of death, baby, please don't die for me. Please don't cry me no river. You're doing this for you, for it is the most high that you should be pleasing. Whoo, high priestess, you are not playing. And this is your twin, baby. And you know it. And you're being obedient to spirit. You like, I love you, but I love the creator of all things more. And I have to be obedient. I already know what it feels like to be disobedient. See, this is the thing, real commercial break. When people want to be the high priestess, the empress, you know, oh, I'm the empress, I'm the queen of swords, I'm the this. Do you know what it takes to get to that level? Do you know the demons that you have to slay? Okay, to get to that level, to get to high priestess crown level. You've crowned empress level. Again, keep in mind, if you've watched enough tarot, then you absolutely do understand the, the, the laws of tarot that a masculine can embody a feminist energy and vice versa. So let's not get caught up in the cards because there's a lot of women here by way of the high priestess, by way of the empress, by way of the queen of swords, you know, the high priestess is clarifying the high priestess. I mean, it's really no other way as to say it. The judgment by way of the liberation and or Libra energy, you're watching your twin go through hell, but you know that it's for their own good. Isn't that something? Whew. Whoever this fire sign is coming up as a queen of wands, nine of swords, this person is really going through it. But you know this, High Priestess. This is just confirmation. You know this. You know this. Somebody's working really, really hard to balance things out. Two of Pentacles, they're fighting, begging to the ethers, begging to the universe. Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Somebody wants to come in fast and just give you everything. They're like, I'm ready. <laughs> it's almost like somebody was like out in the world. They ran amok. Went to and fro, went through every karmic cycle, enjoyed themselves some of the time, went crazy. It's a very spazzy type of an energy. It's very manic all over the place. It's like somebody that's crying, then laughing, crying, then laughing. They don't know if they're happy, sad, mad. Like, it's a lot going on, okay? And now they're like, oh, I want to come back home. And you're like, it's been five years. But I know this is what I want. Here, here's everything that I have. I want to give an equal give and take. Two of pentacles. I want to be balanced. I want to be this. I want to be. And you're like, mm -mm. what does that have to do with me? And what home are you coming back to? At least you forget what has happened in five years. You missed my transformation. I felt every bit of yours. But in, in the interim, I had to cut all them spiritual ties that you kept picking up and bringing to the soul mate energy. You still sleeping with people. How are you coming in to give me an offer? You know how many soul ties I had to break energetically because I could still feel your torment by way of what you were going through. And now I've been released from this contract. The world card has not come up yet. But you're in the world card energy, like closing out the cycle. Ooh, Archangel Michael, show me what I need to see. Baby, this got too deep for me. Page of Wands, somebody was very immature. Feminine and or masculine. Heavy on the fire sign energy. Somebody saying, I want to grow up. Yeah, tricks are for kids. And you're like, I don't have time. You chose your spiritual journey. You chose the high road. Yeah, I cannot make it up. I know this person, if they're watching Cross Watcher, they don't want to see this. Maybe they don't want to admit it. Maybe they're looking for a video that's going to tickle their ears, their spirit, and what it is that they want to believe by way of this illusion. But baby, you could very well get left out in the cold by way of the five of pentacles. I'm going to be honest. This could be the best thing for this person. 
Why? Because the universe is saying in order for you to go on this spiritual journey and really be who it is that you need to be, one, you need to be fit for yourself first. Know thyself. Because if you're doing all this work for this person, you're just going to leave them for somebody else because it's a temporary satisfaction type of an energy. This is giving you want what you can't have type of an energy like hell to the no. And nobody got time to play with you, him, them, they, the person that's trying to block you from leaving. OK, taking your keys and hitting you and fighting you. The police could get called Friday the 13th. Wait for it. OK, the hermit is here. This person's being called to go within. They're being called to recall the past and stop acting as if that didn't happen. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles is about toil and labor, working on self. With this Virgo card and the Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, it's letting me know you got a lot of self-healing to do, self-work. Instead, they just want to rush right in without doing the work. And this is why the Seven of Wands keeps popping out and why your ancestors is like blocking their ass and backing them down. Yeah. This person is way down. This person's like, I want to come towards you. And your security is like, no, you don't. <laughs> but I'm going to, uh, no, you don't, Eddie Kane. Stay your ass on the other side of the gate, boo. What are you doing? You tell me, hey, I'm Eddie Kane. Well, Eddie Kane, look, the group has moved on, honey. And you can't just get past security like that. This is the line of scrimmage. And you can't make it past this line. Like there is a line. Okay, whatever it is, this person is trying their hardest to come towards you and spirit is blocking them and guiding you to just peace be still. You're not responding, but you're responding by way of your silence. Eight of Wands, this person wants to come in quick. Hold up. You bringing all that baggage with you too. I'm going to need you to go somewhere and heal. Well, I don't need you to do anything, but I'm going to need you to get the hell up out of here. Y'all not with the shits. <laughs> We're not with the shits. Ten of wands. Where you running to with all the wands on your back? Where you running to? You can't be running towards me. You can't be running towards us. Where are you going? You got a lot going on. You ain't combed your hair. Where you rushing back to when spirit is telling you to go within? But now you're moving in a haste because something didn't turn out the way you thought. You're trying to come in fast, too quick. Hold up. Look at you. Get yourself together. Fix your clothes. Fix your hair. Pick your Afro daddy because it's flat on one side <laughs> you need to pick your afro daddy because it's flat on one side do 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 ooh if you don't pick your afro you're gonna have one side high. Listen, comb your hair, boo. Pick your afro. Fix your clothes. Go within. You got all ten of these wands and you running towards a divine feminine, a divine masculine? How? Don't you know they had a dream last night where the spirit guys told them, hell to the mother freaking no? Mm -hmm. Well, What's the outcome? <laughs> just for shits and giggles. And the reason I'm saying shits and giggles is because you're psychic. You know the outcome. So this is really just us playing with the cards because they look so nice. Why not? Listen, King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> this person is saying, you're my person. Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. They're like, we're a perfect match. Oh my God. This person needs to try to plan to get out safely for themselves. If nothing else, all seriousness, okay, 
in this situation, try to get your ass out safely. If you got two to three more checks until you hit your goal, maybe you want to say the Airbnb, whatever it is that you feel you need to do, you need to know you cannot just approach your twin this way. This person has been released from the contract. I just saw a really bright white light shoot across the room, y'all. Whoo, I get orbs all the time. Shout out to the light beams. Those uh, future extraterrestrials, ET phone home type of an energies. Yeah, they all around us. The angels are speaking. Okay, so the knight of swords is somebody building up their confidence. This person's still coming out as a knight though. So they're still slightly spiritually immature. Yeah, six of cups. They're still going over the past. Somebody's stuck. Two of pentacles going back and forth. This person really needs some type of balance. Okay, knight of swords. And I said asking for the outcome represents courage. The courage to go within, the courage to get out of the five of pentacles, the courage to escape what's his name, what's her name that's trying to fight you, where the police going to get called. I'm surprised the chariot ain't showed up. You need to get up out of there, okay? I don't know what you got to do. Watch your car, whoever you are. This person is desperate to hold you back because they don't want to go within, okay? Yeah, seven of pentacles. Past information, somebody's saying, at least we remember what you've done in the past. Somebody wants to come in without discussing what it is that they've done and they just want to pick right back up where they left off. No, that's not realistic. Even if you don't go over this with this high priestess or this person, this divine being, you need to go within by way of the hermit because you're under judgment, strong judgment, and you need to recant your past investments, okay? And admit to yourself, and take accountability for what part belongs to you and what does not. Just leave it on the table for your higher self to take, boo. Okay? Your higher self, lower self, you know, hot, cold, lukewarm ass self, whatever it is. My ears are ringing. There's a lot of talk in the ethers. The ace of swords because this is the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And so in that, um, a very big reason why judgment is coming down so hard and why the ancestors is blocking these, this person, this could be several people too, y'all. Okay. Collectively they're being blocked because they're not willing to speak the truth about what has happened, what is happening and what's to come. They don't know. They're just running to seek refuge in your light by way of you having done the work for the group, for the team, for the twin, you know? Yeah. It's interesting that way. Yeah, judgment is here. I cannot make it up. It is the final call, not to be confused with the newspaper. But listen, <laughs> this is the message though, y'all. Listen, whatever this is about, I just encourage whomever it is to stay on their spiritual journey. Again, if you're stopping anything, starting something to just be likable and or to get into somebody's good graces, it's giving people pleasing. Like, nah, like that's not what you need to do. Don't be who it is that you need me to, I mean, don't be who it is that you think I need you to be because of who I am. You need to be who it is you need to be because you are finding out who you are, you know, or who you need to be. And if you don't know who you are, then you need to sit with yourself first, because that means that you're going to just drum up all kinds of weird ass energy because you don't even know who you are. So when you're attracting these weird ass partners and situations um, why do you think that is? Because something on the inside of you is void. Something's uncertain. So yeah, that's what you're manifesting are uncertain situations. Well, whoever these divine beings are, okay, that I picked up on in the energy by way of the divine collective, they're moving forward, okay? They know who they are. They know what they're doing. They know what they're, where they're going and they have vision. And in that, they're meeting people who know the same thing. So to ask them to spiritually demote themselves because it's a good look for you or because they feel bad for you, that's not a form of love, okay? That's enabling somebody and or uh, telling them there is no requirement for you to grow. That's not a good thing. Yeah, so yeah, understanding that first and foremost if you don't understand anything else. But this is the message. I love you wherever you are on the planet. Until the next video, peace be with you.